We have made it to Prague. I initially thought that we were going to get here kind of earlier than we did, but it is currently 5.13, like Prague time. And we just got into our hotel. So let me show you a little bit of the room. And of course the hotel is so pretty, but it is pitch black outside because daylight savings time and then it's snow everywhere. But the flight was very, very long. We flew from Memphis to Denver, from Denver to Frankfurt, from Frankfurt to Prague. So the longest one was Denver to Frankfurt and that was nine hours. But we are here. I used to study abroad here like five years ago and I interned as well. So I was here for like four or five months so I have some like staple places that I want to take Kendall to since he's never been here before and the place tonight is really really good vegan food but then tomorrow we have traditional Czech food and then like a fancy dinner on our last night here and then we're heading off to Paris but tonight should be a lot of fun let me actually give you the whole whole tour I got my key as well just in case so you go down this like shining <laughs> it looks like the shining um, hallway and it's so stinking cute but this is what the outdoors we're on level two and then you go all the way around and then it leads you to our room okay so you walk in and this is what the room it is very tiny very quaint but it is really really cute so from left to right this is the bathroom which i can show you after kendall gets out but this is the room in its entirety it's really cute, it's very cozy, but it's like a luxury hotel, so the city's old, so you're not going to expect like too much, but then like, I don't know if you can see out the window, but we have some huge buildings and stuff next to us, and there's just snow freaking everywhere. I'm a little trapped. I'm going to close this to give us a little bit of privacy. So yeah, that is all of that. And then on this side, we have this cozy little bar set up. But apparently there's also a bar upstairs and it's open till one. I was gonna like take us to the club, but honestly, like the vibes are not here to go to the club tonight. I know it's Saturday and technically people don't go to the club on like a, a Sunday or a Monday. But if we're feeling like it, maybe we can pop by sometime this weekend, but it's not the club scene tonight. So we're gonna go out to eat. We're gonna go to the Charles Bridge. We're gonna go to the Christmas markets and then maybe go to the mall as well because those things are close to like 10 or 11. So things will be open kind of late. But I'm so excited to be back. Oh, it feels so good. Like it doesn't feel like I'm officially back because it's been so long, but like, it's, it's nice to be back in my city because I love this city to death. It's one of my favorite cities ever and I'm I'm surprised I haven't been here. It's been like five years, but being here like for study abroad and interning, like learning the people, learning the culture, how they like maneuver and just everything was a 10 out of 10. It opened up my eyes to like another half of the world and just broadened my horizons and made me more of like a girl boss and it's just a really good city and it taught me a lot. So I'm excited to be back and showing Kendall and also bringing you along. But I'm gonna bring my camera tonight because all the twinkle lights are out. The snow is stunning. So after Kendall gets out the shower, I'm gonna hop in the shower and put on some warm clothes, like some thermals, some jeans, a sweater and bundle up. I did bring this North Face, but I feel like I should have brought in my like big, big, big coat. So um, that was my bad, but I think this will be good for Paris. For Prague, maybe not so much, because when I show you the snow, you're gonna realize what I mean. So, we're here.
We just got some mulled wine. We went to the Prague Castle and it was so nice. It was a lot of outdoors, but the inside portions and the outside portions were really nice. It's just so cold. So now we're at this little booth over here by the castle and we got some mulled wine. We met some people from Tennessee and I also made a new YouTube friend. She was actually vlogging inside of one of the cathedrals and would exchange like information and stuff. But I helped her film like a little bit for a vlog. So, you know, the girlies girling, but we got our wine and we gotta figure out what we're gonna do next. We need to buy tram tickets so we can go there. But we got quite a few things on the list to do. So I think we're going to go to a museum, but we also are going to go to this astronomical clock, Old Town. We're going to see my old university, Charles Bridge, and Angelato. Maybe Angelato after dinner. We get gelato afterwards. So yeah, day two is going really well. So we're currently on the Charles Bridge and it is so freezing cold. It is so cold, but it is so pretty. Let me see a little bit of the back. But we're about to head over to dinner and then ice cream afterwards. We're crazy. <laughs> And I was telling, I was gonna tell Kendall the story. So I go over there to like, they have like a toast maker. So I'm thinking also that I could put a croissant in the toast maker. I put the croissant in the toast maker and it starts flaming up like on fire in the toast maker. So as soon as it got in, it caught on fire and it's going so slow. So it's on fire all the way down and I'm just standing there like this <laughs> I'm like looking down and I'm like okay it's on fire so I'm trying to make eye contact with anybody it comes out the whole thing is on fire it's black I quickly take it and I see somebody had a yogurt bowl over there just chilling and I dumped it in the yogurt bowl and I was like let me go get a regular croissant and not warm it up I'm glad you survived the croissant flames. Um, Prague. <laughs>